In this chapter, I'll explain what all the buttons in the basic panel are and what they do. Let's start by discussing some general features of the panel. The basic panel is powered by the same rapid mask engine as the full version of the TK Actions panel. It quickly generates 16-bit luminosity masks. You see luminosity masks on screen as fast as they're created in order to decide which one to use. You can roll the mouse over any button to receive a help message in the window at the bottom of the panel in case you forget what a certain button might do. The last button clicked retains an accent colored shadow so you always know which mask you last generated. The accent color highlights button rollovers and mouse clicks. This color can be easily changed in the settings window. The panel also comes with six pre-programmed language interfaces. The basic panel also features an active selection indicator, but this is only present in the Creative Cloud version and not the CS6 version. In the settings window, you can decide if you want to have a fixed or animated active selection indicator or no selection indicator at all. The indicator turns on whenever there is an active selection. It reminds you that an active selection is present even if the marching ants have been purposely hidden or if the degree of selection isn't sufficient for Photoshop to display marching ants, such as with a midtone 1 selection. The basic panel has three sections, source, mask, and output. They're arranged top to bottom on the panel to guide you through the usual workflow for creating and deploying luminosity masks. The source section is the starting point for making any luminosity mask. The composite button saves the pixel luminance of the current state of the image in a new channel named LumLock on the channels panel. As the image is developed, Pixel luminance across the image will change. Clicking the composite button first when making a luminosity mask ensures that the most up-to-date luminance information is used to generate masks. The composite button also creates an initial Lights 1 rapid mask. This is stored in the rapid mask channel on the channels panel and displayed on screen. The mask section is the next step in creating masks. Working from the luminosity lock channel, it can create all the basic luminosity masks for the light tones, dark tones, and midtones. Because pixel luminance has already been saved in the loom lock channel, generating new masks in the mask section is very fast. When any button in this section is clicked, the corresponding luminosity mask is calculated, saved in the rapid mask channel, and displayed on screen. You can rapidly click different mask buttons to find the one that best matches the parts of the image you want to adjust. The plus minus buttons in the upper corners of the mask section toggle the creation and removal of the corresponding series of darks and lights masks on the channels panel. This allows you to generate and delete all the masks in a series at one time. However, this is an older way of generating luminosity masks. The rapid mask engine can make masks so fast that it's really never necessary to store them all in the channels panel. It's just as quick to just click a different mask button and see the mask that way. The image and mask buttons in the mask section are a way to alternate between seeing the rapid mask and the actual image. It's important to keep in mind that the loom lock channel saves pixel data as it exists when the composite button is clicked. But pixel values change as the image develops, and so the saved loom lock data can quickly grow stale. So be sure to click the composite button each time a mask is needed at a new stage in the developing process. This makes sure the freshest data is used to calculate the masks. Once you have a rapid mask that looks like what you need, the output section offers different options for actually using the mask. There is no right output choice. It all depends on what you plan to do. The layer button creates new layers with the current rapid mask as the layer mask. 
in the menu you can choose from curves, levels, brightness contrast, and hue saturation. Once you have an adjustment layer with a mask on it, you can now make adjustments to it and those adjustments will be controlled by the luminosity mask you selected. To see what the adjustments would look like without the luminosity mask for control, you can hold down the shift key and click on the mask to disable it. The selection button turns the rapid mask into an active selection. It's sometimes useful to paint through a luminosity selection instead of applying a luminosity mask directly to a layer. Luminosity painting and mask painting are two important techniques where painting through selections is used. I teach these and other important luminosity mask techniques in my Complete Guide to Luminosity Mask video tutorial. The rapid mask channel updates every time the composite button or a mask button is clicked. If you want to save a certain rapid mask for future use, the channel button allows you to save the current rapid mask as a separate channel on the channels panel. The apply button applies the current rapid mask as a layer mask to the active layer on the layers panel. This provides an easy way to add a luminosity mask to any layer that's already been created or switch from one luminosity mask to a different one. It's not necessary to actually be viewing the rapid mask on screen to use the output buttons. As long as there is a rapid mask channel on the channels panel, the output buttons will find it and use it to complete the chosen operation. This means that the same rapid mask can be used for multiple actions. For example, you could start by making a new layer with the rapid mask as the layer mask. And then you could load that same rapid mask as a selection to do some mask painting, and you could also save it as a channel or apply it to a different layer. The X button is used to clean the channels panel of any masks that were created by the basic V6 panel. User created masks are not removed by the X button. I think that covers everything in the basic V6 panel. In the final chapter, I'll demonstrate how to use the panel to make some basic luminosity mask adjustments to an image. As I mentioned earlier, the Rapid Mask 2 module in the full version of TK Actions does everything the basic panel does, plus a ton more. Once you get good with the basic panel, then switching over to the full version is easy, but the number and types of masks you can create goes from 15 to unlimited. The full TK Actions panel also features additional panel modules that speed up your workflow and allow you to perform a bunch of complex and advanced Photoshop techniques with just a couple of button clicks.